Hi, I'm Namrata from Informatica Global Customer Support. In today's presentation, let's see how to configure hierarchy and manage hierarchy in Customer 360 SaaS. Agenda is to create a hierarchy model along with its relationship and attributes. We will also see how to manage your hierarchy by adding and removing a record from the hierarchy and also moving the record from one level to another level in the hierarchy. Defining a hierarchy model. What is a hierarchy model? It consists of a collection of hierarchy relationships between business entities. For example, an organization hierarchy model shows the relationships from organization business entity to person business entity. Each business entity in a hierarchy model must be well connected to the top level business entity directly or through other business entities. You can create as many hierarchy relationships as you need to represent the hierarchy model. You can also define attributes of relationships to allow users to provide additional information about relationships. Relationship types. Records can be related based on hierarchical relationships, related record relationships, and business entity record field relationships. Hierarchical relationships connect two business entity records in a hierarchy. You can view this relationship in a hierarchy or a relationship graph for the record. Whereas related record relationships connect related business entity records by using relationships. You can view these relationships in the relationship graph or in the related records. Hierarchy model creation. Hierarchy is used to create a model to represent the hierarchical or structural data that is business entity record and their relationship. We can create a hierarchy model in the Business 360 console by simply clicking on New, Model, Hierarchy. A user would require a designer or an Indian designer or an admin role to create a hierarchy model. In a hierarchy designer, we define our own relationship. And additional attributes for a relationship can also be defined if required. Once the hierarchy model is saved, we can add the records into hierarchy from Customer 360 app. So log in to Customer 360 and we create a hierarchy instance by simply clicking on New Hierarchy and select the hierarchy. So once the instance is created, we can add root and child loads into this hierarchy instance. To create a hierarchy instance in Customer 360, one would require data steward or analyst or manager role. Once the instance are created, it would be persisted in the master.hierarchy collection. A hierarchy can also be configured with the workflow. If workflow is configured, then the change list will be associated with the creation of an instance and then the workflow process will be initiated where an approver can reject or approve the instance creation. If no, approve, if no workflow is created, then on click of a submit button, the instance will be directly created. We can have multiple root nodes in the hierarchy instance. Hierarchy instance is also supported via initial file import or through the ingress of CDI mapping. Once the hierarchy instance is created, we can add the root node and all its child nodes into this hierarchy instance. After you have added the record in the hierarchy instance, if required, we can also remove the record. To remove the record from the hierarchy, we have two options, remove the record only or remove the record and all its 
child records and relationship. When we select remove the record, all its child and associated relationship will be still retained in the backend. Again, when we add this record into the hierarchy, then all its child and relationship will also added back to the hierarchy. If we want to move the hierarchy from one level to another level, we can simply drag and place it to the level which we need. We will show all these a while demonstrating. Hierarchy history view. Point in time, it displays the snapshot of the hierarchy tree at the selected point in time. This is a read-only view and do not support edit operations. The date and time in the point in time date picker is populated based on the timestamp of the hierarchy instance created. Once you open a record in the record view, the hierarchy tab will have an edit option. On click of the edit, it will open hierarchy instance workspace. And now user can edit the hierarchy tree by adding or removing the record and can submit or discard the changes made. Once on submit or discard, user is navigated back to the hierarchy tab in the record view page. Now let's quickly jump into the demo. To create a hierarchy model, one should log into Business 360 console, click on new, model and hierarchy. For the demo purpose, the hierarchy model has been created already. So in this model, I have taken organization and person business entity. We have defined a relationship called HCO to HCP between the organization and person entity. We can also add additional attributes if required. Between, we also have a Self relationship for an organization which is called as HCO to HCP, HCO to second HCO. You can define your own relationship name as required. You can have n number of relationships created in this hierarchy model. Once the hierarchy is created, save the changes. Once the hierarchy model is saved, log into Customer 360. And here in the hierarchies, you will be able to see the hierarchy which you have created. To add the records into this hierarchy, we will first have to create the hierarchy instance. Click New. Select the hierarchy which you have created. Give the hierarchy instance name. Now to add a first level node, simply click on search. And since the first level from in, in the hierarchy model was organization, all the organization records will be listed here. Now select any, any organization record. This will be the root node. Once the root node is created, you can also add the child for it. Since the root node has got multiple uh, uh, relationship, which is a self relationship to organization and also to person business entity, we will be listed with options. Select person. Search for the record which you would want to add. Click next. And these are the additional attributes that we have added. Populate the data and submit the changes. So now in this test demo hierarchy instance, we have populated the data. For the testing purpose, I have also created test instance. Uh, in this, I have populated the these records so in this hierarchy instance we will see how to remove or 
move the record from one level to another level. In this example, let's try to move from test record 10 to under the organization 2. Simply click on this record and then move the record here. It will ask you to confirm. Click OK. So this is how we can move the records within the hierarchy instance from one level to an other level. On click of submit, the changes will be saved. Now to remove a record from the hierarchy, simply click here and click remove. It will ask you whether you want to remove the record only or you want to remove all its child records and relationship. If you remove, if you select this, then the relationship between the test record 10 sample also will get deleted. So now let's select remove the record only and see what happens. Now the organization 4 record has been deleted. Let me submit the changes. Now let's see how to add the organization 4 record in test demo. Let me add it here. Now since I didn't delete the child and its relationship, the uh, this record has been still retained in the back end. Now when I added organization 4, all its child and relationship is also retained and has been added back into this hierarchy. This is how you can move the hierarchy from one instance to another instance. The point in time. When you select a point in time, it will give you the it will show you the history of the hierarchy at this point of time in this mode we will not be able to edit the hierarchy only when we move to the current mode we can make the changes to the hierarchy in business 360 console if you want to create a workflow for a hierarchy you can simply go to business events and Click on add event, user triggered event. By doing so, we will be able to create a workflow for the hierarchy creation. For any create, update or delete of an hierarchy, the workflow gets created and the approver will be able to reject or approve the changes through the workflow creation. So this is how we can manage the hierarchy. We can add and remove the records within the hierarchy. Now in this hierarchy instance, on click of the record, it will take us to the record uh, test record, I mean the record view. In the test record view, we will have the hierarchy tab, relationship graph and related record tab. So here it points out to the hierarchy this record belongs to. In the relationship graph, we will be pointed to all its related records. The dotted line represents the hierarchical relationship. Well, this is how we manage hierarchy in Customer 360 SaaS. We have reached to the end of the demo. Hope this was useful. We also have some of the known knowledge based articles on the hierarchy related. You can take a look at it. We would love to hear from you. You can tweet us or write to us at supportvideo at informatica.com. Thank you.